ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Hello, friends. This is The Lone Ranger. I'd like you to listen to something. All over the country, in every direction, how you, how you doing is the question. And here's one the have that happy people have to say. Eat our Wheaties and do, do, do an okay. Okay. You know, that's right. People in various parts of the country have different accents, perhaps, or dress a little differently. But the ones with plenty of drive, the go-getters, have one thing in common. They're careful about their diet. They see to it that they eat a good, honest breakfast every day. And a breakfast built around wheat couldn't be better for you. Wheat is real man food. So, bear in mind. Keep on eating your wheat. With his faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fella. Hey, Silver. Hooray! Jake Hawkins and Trigger Canton had been cellmates in territorial prison. After their release, they jointly led a gang of outlaws in a series of robberies and gained notoriety as the masked partners. One day, not far from the town of Stoneville, they waited with their gang for the afternoon stage to appear. Well, here it comes. Ask your faces, men, and have your guns ready. All right. All right. Let's go. Here we go. All right. All right. A few minutes later, the gang surrounded the halted stage. They found the driver slumped on the seat, wounded and unconscious. Trigger, with gun in hand, opened the coach door. Hey, Jake, come here. What's the matter? Hey, look, only one passenger. He stopped a bullet, too. Yeah. Hey, he's dead. Yeah, that's tough. Hey, wait a minute. Take a good look at him, Jake. Well, I'm looking. You notice anything? Like what? He looks a lot like you. Oh, uh, what are you talking about, Ed? Say, he does it bad. I wonder who he is. Search him and find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, here's a letter in his wallet. Here, let me see it. Uh, it says Sheriff Coon, Stoneville. This will introduce John Lewis, special investigator for the Cattlemen's Protective Association. That will appreciate your cooperation. Signed, Samuel Eaton, President. Say, Trigger, this gives me an idea. Go on. We'll bury this fella. Then I'll take his badge and credentials and go to Stoneville in this place. What for? I'll know every move the sheriff makes. And I'll be able to get tips on lots of jobs for us to pull. Thank you, the strong body. Put it back on the stage. What? Trigger, I'll pose to Sam Lewis and tell the sheriff I prevented the stage from being robbed. Hey, you'll get away with it easy, Jake. Sure. Have the men bury the dead man. I'll tell him my plans and then drive the stage to Stoneville. Later, Jake arrived in town driving the stage and told the sheriff a convincing story. After the driver had been given medical attention, Jake and the sheriff went to his bedside. The man regained consciousness, and the sheriff questioned him. This hombre says an outlaw gang tried to hold you up when you got shot. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that, 
That's right. You were lucky this Omri was your passenger. He brought the stage in with the contents of the strong box intact. For a moment, the driver's eyes rested on Jake. Jake tensed slightly and waited for his reaction. Thanks, mister. Glad, glad I had you with me. That's all right. Reckon we better let him rest now. Come on. Yeah. Oh, in the excitement, mister, I forgot to ask your name. And I've been waiting for a chance to give you this, Sheriff. Huh? Why, what? Investigator. Well, so you're the special investigator. <laughs> Glad to meet you, Mr. Lewis. Thanks, Sheriff. After I make arrangements for a room somewhere, I'll rent a horse and try to pick up the trail of that gang. Forget about looking for a room. You'll stay at my place while you're in town. Thank you. I'll see to it that you have a horse, too. We'll pick up your luggage at the stage station, take it to my place, and get your horse. <laughs> A short time later, Jake rode away. At sundown, he returned and reported that he'd lost the trail. He stayed at the sheriff's home a few days and learned that a payroll for the troopers at a nearby fort was due to be taken from town in an army supply wagon with only a driver and two guards. Jake went to meet the gang, and they planned to hold up the army wagon. One morning, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode along a trail in the nearby hills. This is the territory in which the masked partners in the gang have been operating, Toto. Ah. You think them still here? I don't know. If that gang has been active in this territory lately, you'll soon hear about it. One silver. Early that afternoon, Jake and Trigger, wearing their masks, waited with the gang on a slope overlooking a valley trail. Jake spoke to the others. We'll hit that trail after the robbery as far as the river. Once we reach the water, we'll separate, ride into the stream for some distance, and come back to this side at different places and head for town. That ought to throw anyone off our trail. Hey, look, down the valley. Here comes the army wagon. It's about time. We'll cut across the trail ahead of them, then go at them from the front. Let's go, men. Get up. Get up. Get up. Counting the two leaders, there were ten men in the gang. Within a short time, the driver of the wagon was dead, and the two guards wounded. The gang took the payroll. You all set? Then hurriedly rode toward the trail Jake had mentioned. Get up! Get up! Get up! Later, when Tottle returned to the Lone Ranger's camp from town, he told of the holdup, saying an army messenger had brought the news to the sheriff. The masked man and Indian set out to help in the search. As they rode toward the scene of the robbery, the Lone Ranger was saying, Well, we know now that the masked partners in the gang are still in this territory. Isn't that right? I'd like to pick up their trail before others get there and spoil their tracks. We'll see it. Look, troopers. Oh, scout. Oh, 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 Lieutenant, they must be members of the gang we're hunting. That's right, sir. You're mistaken, Major. Why? Well, well, not waste time listening to your lies. I'm sending you both back to the fort as prisoners. Charged with robbery and murder. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Boxer Ben fights hard and fair, so in the ring, you kids beware. He's dynamite because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. <laughs> he's feeling his Cheerios, Cheerios, Cheerios. Cheerios, the cereal everybody loves. No other cereal looks like Cheerios. It's shaped like little letter O's. No other cereal tastes like Cheerios. It's the only ready-to-eat cereal with this fresh toasted oat flavor. No other cereal is like Cheerios. You see, Cheerios is made from oats. And every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, the good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. Have Cheerios every morning. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. Now to continue... 
The Lone Ranger and Tonto faced the angry Major and his troops. In spite of the Major's order to be quiet, the Lone Ranger spoke again in a firm voice. You're jumping to conclusions, Major. We're not outlaws, and I can quickly prove it. I'll give you one minute. There's a letter in my pocket. I'd right, watch him closely, man. Yes, sir. Hand me the letter. All right. Here it is. Yeah. Dear sir, this is to express my sincere thanks for your help in averting an Indian uprising in this territory last month. I hope the next time you come this way, you'll stop at Fort Layton. Every man at this post will long remember the... Lone Ranger and his Indian friend, Tonto. With best regards, Colonel Robinson. You're the Lone Ranger? Yes, sir. Here's your letter, sir. Please accept my apologies. That's all right, Major. We're trailing a murderous gang of outlaws who killed one of our men and robbed us of a payroll. We lost their trail at the river. We heard about the robbery. If you care to join us in the search... Well, Tonto and I feel we can work better alone, Major. Good luck, sir. Just remember to let us know if you get a line on them before we do. I'll remember, Major. Adios. Goodbye. Get him up, scout. Get him up, scout. After leaving the troopers, the Lone Ranger and Tonto followed the troops' hoof marks as far as the river. After an intensive and careful search, the masked man and Indian were sure they found the trail of one of the outlaws and followed it toward town. Tonto rode into town alone. Later, he returned with disappointing news. Oh, scout. Oh, fella. Easy, scout. Easy, fella. Where did the track lead, Tonto? Them lead to sheriff's house, Kimasabi. Oh? Me see horse standing out front. Maybe sheriff, posse, trail crooks to river, too. Lose trail and come back to town. I don't see how they could have gone there so quickly. We went as soon as you heard the news. Isn't that right? Now, Kino Sabi, yes? me go to cafe, ask about sheriff and posse. Good idea, Toto. Easy, Scout. Easy, fella. Get him up, Scout. Toto's questions at the cafe brought out the fact that the sheriff's posse had lost the outlaw gang's trail and had returned to town. When he left to go back to meet the Lone Ranger, Toto didn't see two men follow him from the cafe. Slicker and another member of the gang had heard him asking questions. Hey, that Indian knows something. I figure we better follow him, find out where he goes. Good idea. Steady, boy. Get up there. there. Come on. The two outlaws saw the Indian pass some large boulders just beyond the edge of town, then turn and ride toward a grove of cottonwood trees in a small valley. The two men stopped behind the boulders. (laughs) Moving cautiously, Slicker made his way toward the grove. From behind a large tree, he looked down and saw the Indian dismount several hundred yards away and out of earshot. Moving quietly but quickly, Slicker made his way back to his waiting friend. What'd you find out? We better get to Jake Quake and warn him that the Lone Ranger's picked up our trail. Let's go. Steady, steady, man. Get up there. Come on. After hearing what Tonto had learned, the Lone Ranger decided to face the sheriff and get what facts he could. Darkness had fallen when he and Tonto rode along the back way until he reached the sheriff's house. After making certain the sheriff was in the house alone, the masked man knocked on the front door. Well, what can I... A mask, hombre. One of the masked partners. Hold it, sheriff. I have the drop on you. I'm coming inside. No, I'll not... Sorry. You forced me to hold a gun on you, Sheriff. I came here for information. However, repeated questioning by the Lone Ranger brought him nothing. Finally, the Sheriff spoke gruffly. What right have you got to be asking me questions? If you expect to get away with... Uh, Listen a minute, Sheriff. I... What? Uh, Must be one of your gang giving a signal outside. Sorry, I have to leave. I'll take your gun. By thunder, I'll... Now I'll empty it. Why? All right, here's your gun. Adios. I'll get you. You wait. Hello. Kimasabi, after you go inside, me see fella ride toward sheriff's house. Then turn, go down street plenty fast. Me think him see you go in. All right, we'll follow him. Easy, steady, big fella. Come on, Get him up. Come. Oh, 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 help me. 
The outlaw leader, whom Toto had seen, rode quickly to the back of the hotel, dismounted, and hurried inside. A moment later, he entered a room where the gang was gathered. Well, men, the Lone Ranger went in to talk to the sheriff. That means he's on our trail. We've got to get away from here. Hey, Jake, you think they'll find out where we are? Yeah, any time now. That mass man is plenty smart at trailing. Come on, Brace, pack our gear. All right. Hey, Trigger. Let's go in there. Join our room for a minute. I want to talk to you. Hurry it up. Right. We'll be right back, men. Right, right. Well, what do you want, Jake? Keep your voice down. Listen, I have an idea to get us safely away from here and let you and me keep the whole payroll we took from the army wagon. Go on. Now, this is what we'll do. You take the army payroll without the rest of the gang seeing you. Then leave by the back door. I'll go out the front door and look up the sheriff. Jake left through the front door of the hotel. He saw the sheriff and his men just leaving the lawman's office nearby. He hurried across the street. Howdy, Mr. Lewis. I got my men together. One of the masked partners is in town. He came to my place a while ago. Masked partners? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Listen, Sheriff. I found out the gang is in room 102 at the hotel. Great day. You mean the whole gang is right here in town? That's right. I trailed them to the hotel. Good work. We'll go there right now and take them by surprise. Come on, man. Jake walked along with the lawman, but as they entered the hotel, he slipped away unnoticed and quickly joined Trigger, who carried the army payroll. As they hurried behind the buildings toward the station, they suddenly heard sounds of a gun battle back in the hotel. The lawman moved in on the gang. Yeah. Hey, look, there's a train at the station now. Let's hurry. Wait, wait, Jake. Look, uh, troopers at the station. Yeah, they must be watching everybody who gets on the train. They'll recognize that satchel. Even if we put that cash in our pockets, they may search us. What'll we do? Put on your black mask. We'll stay in the shadows and get to the engine cab and take over. Then we'll run the train from town until we're far enough away to be safe. Come on. Meantime, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, who had been searching the hit tracks in town for Jake's horse, had heard the gun battle in the hotel. Tonto went to find out what was happening and quickly returned to tell that the lawman had captured the gang, with the exception of the two leaders who had escaped with a payroll. He must have it. One outlaw tells Sheriff, masked partners talk to gang about leaving town. Then them sneak away before gang get caught. Shots come to the station. Claim it even in hurry. Let's go, Toto. Easy, sir. Easy, Toto. Easy, Toto. Come on, Toto. Come on, Toto. As the two men rode at a gallop toward the station, they could see the train leaving with the engine's driving wheels throwing sparks as they spun on the rails. A short distance behind the train, the Major and his troopers raced along the tracks, with the Major well ahead of his men. The Lone Ranger and Toto swung in beside him. What's happened? Two masked men are in the engine cab. Keep following. I'll try to board the train. One, two, three. That's the big fella. That's the... Racing ahead, the Lone Ranger saw that he was gaining on the train. In a few moments, the stout-hearted Silver edged alongside the rear platform of the last car. The Lone Ranger stood in his stirrups and reached for the iron ladder attached to the side of the car. <coughs> then he climbed to the roof of the car and started crawling forward toward the engine. Within a short time, the masked man reached the tender and made his way over the logs toward the engine cab. He could see the two masked figures in the glow from the open firebox. Bracing himself with one hand, he drew one of his guns and moved closer. But suddenly, Trigger turned to pick up fuel and saw him. As the outlaw went for his gun, the Lone Ranger fired. And Trigger fell from the cab. Jake, who was running the engine, looked back. He, too, grabbed for his gun, and the Lone Ranger fired again. Quickly, the Lone Ranger made his way to the wounded man. First, I'll take your gun. Now move to the fireman's seat. Move! Yes, yes. Keeping a close watch on Jake, the Lone Ranger reached out and applied the brakes. Jake made a sudden lunge toward the side of the cab. I'm leaving. The Lone Ranger sprang forward to stop him. We're staying here. As Jake slumped to the cab platform, the Lone Ranger looked from the cab window. He saw Toto leading Silver galloping toward him. A moment later, the Indian stopped alongside the engine. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, Silver. Are you all right? Yes, Toto. Let's ride away from here fast. Easy, steady, big fella. Come on, come on. By the time the troopers reached the engine with Trigger, the sheriff and some of his men arrived. 
Jake was lifted from the engine, and the major and sheriff stood over him and removed his mask. There. Now we'll... Great day. This is Mr. Lewis, the special investigator. Hey, hey, Sheriff, let me see. Uh, Who are you? Oh, you're the stage driver who was wounded when Miss Omri came to town. Yeah. Well, that's him, all right. Wait, Sheriff. I just thought of something. What? This man looks like the passenger who rode the stage with me. But the passenger had only three fingers on his left hand. What? I saw him when we stopped at the wayside station for coffee. And this is not Mr. Lewis? That's right. Gee, I'm sorry I made the mistake of identifying him as Lewis the other day, but I was wounded. Uh, This outlaw must have killed Mr. Lewis in the stage holdup. Took his place. The man we picked up along the tracks was masked, too. He fell from the engine. We captured the gang, Major, all except the two masked leaders. The man you picked up along the tracks in this armory must be the masked partners. Yes, I'm sure of it. We found the satchel containing the army payroll, the engine cab. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Neither of them looked like the tall armory who came to my place a while ago. I'm sure I know who you mean. He's the one who outwitted these men, prevented their escape. Well, where is he now? Who is he, Major? Why was he wearing a mask? He wears a mask to conceal his identity so that he can continue to help the law, Sheriff. I'm sure at some time or another you've heard of the Lone Ranger. copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Pendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to the Lone Ranger brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.